Good morning ladies and gentlemen. This is Sunday again. Beautiful Sunday. Yeah, you know, I love it. Just chilling out. Don't got much videos today. But you know, it's a beautiful Sunday. Just warming up the car and um thinking about what my day gonna be like, what I'm gonna do for today. You know, maybe I do some cooking because I can't work on much car right now. Yeah, you know. So it's nothing much, nothing a lot, you know, just checking out, starting up this car, warm it up, you know, and stuff like that, you know, um, I think everything is good though, you know, we just have to give thanks, you know, each day, because God is good, you know, it don't make sense we complain about life or complain about things, you know, because a lot of people out there got worse than us, they got it worse, so, you know, we have to give thanks for each day blessings to each and everyone everyone stay strong you know you gotta look out for each other each day and just make it a wonderful day no matter what the circumstances are you know yeah because without god we're nothing we can't do nothing you know so we just have to all give thanks and praises to the most high each day you know so whatever things come in our way whether good or bad we just kind of accept them if the bad come we kick them to the side the good come we accept them you know <laughs> yeah so yeah, I will have to say boy, give thanks. Um, give thanks. Today is just a little rundown and um, the Mercedes S430. I'm still doing a lot of work on it. It's, it got so much stuff when I bought this car, you know. Somebody, I think, I bought this car uh, to Copart. And I think somebody work on this car and they take a lot of parts out of it, like the cooling fan and stuff so when the car come here on the tow truck i started it up a matter of fact it was on the ground dragging on the ground because the rear struts was already gone the air struts i also changed them i put new ones in uh, this summer but then i realized i have a um, cooling cooling fan yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, check coolant, everything was okay, a little bit, heat was in the car. Mm. I decided to check around, check around, I found out, I was noticing this big space, so I noticed that somebody had already taken out the fan, which they didn't replace back, they just take out the, the, the coolant to the radiator fan, and they didn't put it back in there. So when I went out and checked to find out, the coolant, Then it missing a module also that controls the fan. That's another 200 bucks, almost 300 bucks also. So I said, no, nah. so I gotta come up with a plan. So in order for this thing to run, I don't got a lot of money right now and I want this car to be on the road for a little bit because you know, I really want to enjoy it right into the road for the winter. I, um, I gotta come up with a plan. So I talked to a friend of mine 
and he said he had one of these things before and he rode it around without cooling fan cool hand fan running but he'll turn it it'll run it for a while then it sometimes it might overheat and i say oh man that's bullshit. i ain't driving that like that so i come up with a plan my plan now was to do um, an aftermarket cooling fan and temperature gear, temperature sensor. So the fan would turn on during when it goes up to like uh, 180, 210 or something like that. So anyway, I changed thermostat, I changed um, coolant temp sensor, and then I put in this fan, which I'm going to show to you guys. Yeah, which I'm gonna show to you guys. I put in this thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna open the hood now. <laughs> yeah, open the hood. All right, all right. <laughs> Here goes my engine. <laughs> if you notice, there's no coolant fan, right? No coolant fan, no coolant fan, no coolant fan, right? No radiator fan. All right, so this is what I did. I went out and go on eBay and make a, buy one of those little knockoff fans. And if you notice down in there, there's a little sensor that plugs straight into the radiator. So, and I wired it up in there. And when the engine goes up to temperature, that thing would send signal to my fan. And then it turns on this, this relay right here. I wire this relay right in to the system. And I also can connect that to the, um, to the compressor the AC compressor so it will turn on uh, when I turn the AC on it will turn that fan all on so I'm cool this engine down and it's been working good so far yeah uh, coolant level is good see coolant level is good no overheating <laughs> my engine runs beautiful for now and it's been working good so far so this is what I'm gonna use for the winter and then maybe next summer I'll purchase that fan but right now the car stands up the car stands up great my ear suspension stands up great <laughs> um, yeah it stands up great my temperature, uh, sunlight is on me right now. Sun's up to, I think it's about 80, 180. It's, up, it's about 80 right now. So, and it cools up great. And she sounds good. Now I'm putting in this radio also, but the amps won't turn on, so I gotta have to figure a way to get this amp to turn on. Cause it, work on a command system so this the next move too i gotta find out you know yeah but this thing runs great yeah and i got a few more work to do with the roof up here missing you know that piece so i gonna have to get it upholstered i'll do it myself yeah so far and, um, yeah Yeah, this is it.
<laughs> she's sewing like a chump. <laughs> yeah, man, well, she's sewing like a chump. I love this car. <laughs> yeah, I think you got three or something on this car. Yeah, but it runs good, real good. For our old car, man, it feels good. I love driving it. So it's for a year now. I'll try and post more videos about this car soon. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching my channel. This is Key Less One, and I'm out for now. Bye.